there's also been cases of clear entrapment that we're all aware of that they got away with. And one of the big ones is that 19-year-old kid who was talked into detonating a bomb that wasn't even a bomb, but I believe it was by the FBI, mm-hmm. and I believe it was in Dallas. Is that where it was from? Do you remember that story? I, I remember the story. Yeah, I don't remember the, the details nuts. of it. But yeah, there's been uh, They there... took some young sort of delusional guy, and they, they literally kind of conned him into blowing up this bomb, and it, it wasn't a bomb. Yeah. They gave him a cell phone. Do this, and it's going to do that, and it's going to blow up. And he does that, and then they arrest him. Yeah. But you you told him to do it. You got him to do it. You talked him into doing it. Like there, how- there's been dozens of these since 9-11, yeah. these kind of entrapment things. And then the FBI brags about how they thwarted a terrorist attack. But like there was never a terrorist attack. The governor of Michigan. That one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That one's bananas. And and it is, it's, actually, it's really sad because like the thing with Whitmore, um, what en- they end up doing is kind of like luring in these really sad people, yeah, you know, like the guy's like a homeless guy who's a drunk who's living, you know, in an attic somewhere or something like that. And then they kind of get this guy to go along with it. And he like resists the first three times. And he's like, no, I don't want to do anything like that. No, this is crazy. And then they keep pushing him and pushing him. Yeah. And they finally get this guy. So they created the the event to begin with. There was no yeah. threat that this was going to happen until you guys like lured this really sad, in most cases not very bright guys into doing this thing well, and then arrest them. The craziest thing is the numbers. Wasn't it like there was 14 people and 12 yes. of them were in Yeah, the whole thing was basically of feds. Them yeah. Feds? And what was the purpose of it? Uh, the purpose of it was to kind of paint this picture of the anti-lockdowners Right. As being this violent threat, and so that th- this would then hurt Donald Trump in his election campaign. So it's not just like that they were just doing this. It's like they were doing this with a political like motivation. And this is what's so like, this is the thing that's so creepy and what so many people are waking up to. That's part of the reason, look man, this is the reason why that uh, Richmond, North of Richmond song blew up so yeah. big. Because so many people today, and it's kind of what's exciting about the the current moment, it's also a little bit scary, but that so many people are just kind of waking up to how corrupt this whole thing is. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it's all fake. It's all, that was, a, uh, do you remember the one we talk, We just mentioned that Tucker Carlson said he had a source that had read all of the Kennedy files. This is when he yeah. said the CIA killed Kennedy. And he goes, and then we asked him point blank, uh, w- was the CIA involved in the assassination of Jack Kennedy? And, he's, and the guy's response was, he goes, yes, it's all fake. The country isn't what we thought it was. Yeah. And I remember just thinking that was like a powerful, like just to say, it's all fake. I think more and more people are waking up to that. Like these these people on CNN all day, you know, they act so like um, they have this air of like moral uh, superiority and concern about as well. Listen, this could lead to dangerous conspiracy theories. Yeah. This is dangerous for our democracy. This is blah blah. What about these downtrodden people or whatever? And then meanwhile, you're like. But you guys have no interest in finding Epstein's client list, really? Like, how are you not talking about that every day, man? Right. Like, every day. Like, you're telling me we found out that there was a ring of, uh, like, a child rape ring with the most powerful people all involved in it, and you're not just demanding every day that we get to the bottom of this? And in fact, we know that that one ABC reporter had the story suppressed when she first broke the Epstein story, right? Yeah. She was on the hot mic talking about it. Yeah. And like, so you're like, well, where do you get off? Like acting like you're the, 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 yeah, this is how the media works. You get quoted and then we quote you. And yeah. then we show you, that's how the media works. Like this air of superiority. Yeah. Where you're, like you've been caught red handed on so many different things. You, li- you lied us into every freaking war in the last 20 years. You, you suppressed the Epstein story. You bullshitted about the Hunter Biden story. You're all now even admitting it. Even they're admitting it now. Oh, yeah, they are. well, it turns out there is a whole real corrupt thing to be investigated here about the Bidens. And it's like, but then they still turn around and have this like, well, we're the news. And that's what happens. 